Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm back with another Feb FGO video and this is my reaction to all the noble phantasms in the arcade version of Fate Grand Order. Now uh, I have no clue what the actual arcade version is like I'm a bit confused about it. I think it's like uh, a game that we that you play in the Japanese arcade machines I'm guessing but like there are a few questions in my mind as to how you're going to like you know retain the the like which servants you've summoned and like how do you even summon the servant is there like a similar sq system that we have in our mobile game and if there is an sq system how does it retain the you know like that how many sqs you have or which servants you have how is that retained because it's an arcade machine you know like people go there a lot of people go there and play on the same arcade machine so is there some kind of uh, identification method or something like uh, i should probably like make a video on this as well because i really want to like know what this is about anyways uh, that's not the point of this video this video is about all the uh, noble phantasms uh, uh, like reacting to the, all the noble phantasms in the arcade version and also like uh, like i'm going to do like an F one fgo video every week uh at least and like my uh, channel is definitely like anime reaction so you might not find the fgo videos you know uh, even after searching for it so i'll be kind of like like linking the playlist uh, i think it's over here there'll be the link to the playlist so you can find the my fgo stuff uh, in this uh, channel quicker so you just like have to click on it and you'll find the playlist to it so uh, like you don't have to search much so yeah anyways so as i was saying so let's get started with this video and i'll be linking the original video uh, the link to the original video down in the comment section uh, if you have not checked it out be sure to do so so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with this video all right here you go Oh, uh, first one is Masha. Oh, Lord Caldea. So this is the first one uh, when, like, he did not, she did not have the Nero's. Damn, Nero. Is her hair? Yeah, her hair is open. Benke. He's technically not Benke, it's kind of a spoiler. But I'm sure everyone knows it by now because obviously Babylonia has been out for quite a while. Big feed. Okay. This is pretty damn impressive. Like, looking at all the noble phantasms like this animated. Chevladion. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to like in the end I'm going to talk about which one I like the most, you know, which noble phantasm. Ah, Athap and Dragon! Okay, let's see. The Excalibur. Okay. Wow. I love it when she like, you know, says Excalibur. At her altar or salter, whatever you call her. Oh, damn. Okay, that. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. This one, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, you see, uh, Caesar? I think... Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay, here we go. Emya. <laughs> the English. <laughs> All right. Ah, he's here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 
And my Elish. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Atlante. <clears throat> I don't see many people using Atlante now. But I think nowadays her use is a little bit more because Kadi is here. Ah, Elizabeth Bathory. Damn, okay. Okay, this is this this one is pretty impressive, you know, because of the castle in the behind. Martha. Taras. Okay. <laughs> Gilles there is. My god, the way he screams. And Lamb. Oh, this is Mozart. Okay. Whoa. Waver. Oh, damn. Okay. Alright, this one is pretty impressive as well. This is Saber, the Gilles de Ray Saber. Okay. <laughs> Damn, Jones look like flag. Atlante. Oh, sorry. Uh, why did I call her Atlante? Attila. God damn, I mixed up the names. Alright. Okta Soji. And. There. Oh, this is Nomunaga. Okay. This. Okay, this one is pretty cool. I think I, I, think I like this the most. Because like you know the gun animation that comes out. Who is Izo? Yeah. Whoa! Ha! Damn! Okay. Wow. He murdered Berserker. Arjuna. Whoa! Damn! Karna? Oh! Wow! Shakti! There you go! Okay, this one is also pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, this one is cool. I think this is the best. Oh, Sh Shiki Saber? Wow! Ha! Oh, damn! This... Okay, this one is... This... <laughs> I feel like I'm... Okay, I, I like that the most. The way, you know? Okay, it's kind of the same... Uh, like... Sh Shiki Saber, but... I think Shiki Saber is better. What was her name? I forgot. Um, Fuji... No. She was, uh, she was in Karano Kyokai. Um, I forgot her name. What the hell? Dante Arc. Alter. Oh. Where are those? Yeah, there, there you go. I was thinking, when are those spear going to come? Carmilla. Wait. This is this is Carmilla, yeah, this is Carmilla, but what's with her dress? This is her uh, rider versus this dress, isn't it? Uh, not rider, uh, the uh, the one that's going to come uh, in Las Vegas, I think. Okay, this is Heracles. <laughs> Lancelot, Berserker. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> it's funny how he like brings out a Gatling gun on top of a, you know, airplane. Oh, Caligula? Damn. Oh, Kyohime. Okay. I still like, I think uh, Shiki Sabers was the best up until now. Let's see if anything can top that. Jandi Arc. Whoa! <laughs> the way. Oh, wait. It's the same thing. Oh, wait a minute. Do they have costumes as well in Arcade? Like, I kind of noticed in the Carmilla one that the costume was different. Oh, damn. Tamamo? <laughs> Whoa! Damn, th this was impressive, uh, impressive as well. Break? Whoa, oh, damn. Okay. Wow. Oh, media Lily. <laughs> it's like a mouse or you know. Skahat. Okay. Damn! There you go. Oh! Oh! 200k damage! <laughs> and a smug face. Okay, this is her costume. The bunny one. Okay, so they have costumes as well. Just like we have, you know? Maria Antoinette. Oh! Wow! This is so pretty! Okay! Okay, this is also pretty amazing. The whole, like, snow uh, ice effect. Ah, damn. Leonidas. Medusa. Okay, the figure. Wow. Okay. Jorgis. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I do a teach. Or Blackbeard. <laughs> wow, this was funny. Oh, Budika. <laughs> oh, shoot and doji. Wow. Her voice is so... What can I say? Like... Uh, the way they voice act. Okay, Ibarak. Okay. Oh, who is this? Oh, Sakata Kintobi. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's Ku Kuhilin, uh, Caster. Yeah, the first, uh, the first servant that we met in the Singularities, you know? Uh, like in Fuyuki. Hassan. And the heart. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, what is this? 
Is this the Phantom of the Opera? His costume! Damn, they are pretty like... They have costumes for the lower le levels, like lower rank servants as well. Yeah, Mata Hari. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Samara, uh, Samara Toria. Wow. Oh. Okay, this is quite impressive as well. Nito Chris. <laughs> is this a summer Nito Chris or the. Yeah, this is a summer Nito Chris, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah, it's a summer Nito Chris, not the normal one. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Mama Raiku Lancer version. <laughs> like, her NP uh, in this form is extremely, like, what can I say, overpowered for a four star servant. Oh, this is um, Jolter Twinsu uh, version. The one, the one skill that she has of like, uh, like evading, like at the end of the turn, is pretty damn like cool, you know. Okay, this is uh, Summer BB. Oh. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, this is um. Uh, Vinci, uh, I think ri Rider, this is Rider, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think so. Oh, who is this? I'm not recognizing the servants. This is Helena Blavatsky, isn't it? Do we have a? Does the JP version have a Christmas Helena as well? Oh, Ishtar. Oh, damn, this is beautiful. Okay, I think I like this one the most. Uh, Ishtas. Okay, Amakusa Shiro. I don't see people using him anymore, like nowadays. Like when he came out, there were a lot of people using him, but... Oh, Hokusai. A Hokusai. Okay, wow! This is also a tough contender for the Ishtar's animation. Wow. Nero Bride? Wow! <laughs> oh, Mordred. <laughs> she is fighting against Artoria. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> okay, Jack the Ripper. Damn. Wow, I noticed this. The animation of the enemies during the Noble Phantasm, like where, like how uh, Okta Soji was like looking like this and this. It's also different. Okay, this is uh, Arturia Altar Lancer. Okay, this is Arthur Prototype. Oh. This is uh, the female Arturia's voice. I've never seen... I've never seen the... 
in the animation of the male Arthur, even in the game. Okay, this is Chloe. Okay. And... Ha! Wow. Ilya. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is uh what's what's her name? Mew Mew. Mew isn't it? I forgot. It's been a while I've seen a uh, fake uh Kaliad Lina Prismer. i it's been quite a while. I should probably like check it out again to refresh my memory. Okay, Nightingale. Okay. Three Nightingales? What? <laughs> oh, this is a uh, female Merlin. It's only in the arcade version, like. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sita. <clears throat> like, one thing is, is quite weird. Like, Sita is an archer. Like, I really. Like, in the folklore, I really don't remember her. But, anyways. Okay, that's Kugulin Altar. Okay. Wow. Damn. Oh, Hokusei. This is the Las Vegas version, isn't it? What? Okay, I was thinking what language is she speaking? She's speaking Japanese. I was a little bit kind of. Okay, this is um, made altar, uh, Artoria. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Saber my mid. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, her, her noble phantasm is taking selfies. <laughs> She kills you by taking selfies. Oh, this is... We still don't have her in the NA. This is uh, Miyamoto Musashi, I think, Berserker? Isn't it? I don't know, like, I might roll for her or I might not. Because I already have the original Miyamoto Musashi. Okay, this is Mysterious, Mysterious Hero in XX. The only foreigner I have. Where is Ereshkigal? We didn't have, we don't, we have not seen Ereshkigal. Oh, this is a, the different costume. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is Suzuka Gozen, um, in the arcade. We don't have her in the, I think, uh, mobile game. Not even the JP version. She also takes a selfie. Wow. Oh, this is <laughs> a stall for bunny. Okay. Wow. There you go, Ishkika. <laughs> Okay. Alright, that's... Oh! Oh! Damn! Okay! That's cool! Elementary, my dear. Watson. Or whatever. 
Oh, is that the end? Or do we have more? I think that is the end of this video. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Okay, guys, now, um, okay, uh, I think, uh, at least according to my tastes, I liked uh, Ishtar's Noble Phantasm the most. Um, and a tough contender of Ishtar's Noble Phantasm is Marie Antonitz. Like, that was really, like, pretty, you know, the whole uh, eyes coming out. Karna's was also quite impressive. And I think there's another one which I really liked, which was, um, what was that? A Ryogi Shiki, um, <clears throat> Saber version. That was also really, like, pr pretty and everything. And most of the Noble Phantasms were quite amazing. And, but, and I think uh, the ones that really was uh, extremely impressive were the ones which had more interactions with the, you know, background. Because, you know, Ishtar's Noble Phantasm was like the whole, like taking the whole Venus and shooting it as an arrow. And Marie Antonis was like, there's this like snow Pegasus coming, uh, uh, not Pegasus, sorry, snow unicorn. And um, like them, like she going and like freezing the whole place. And uh, Ryogi Shiki's was like this, like flower petals were like kind of falling. And it was like kind of like white and like, you know, her kimono is, her kimono is pretty damp, like pretty, you know, like I think, um, and like in the costumes uh, department, Ryogi Shiki Saber's costume is uh, like the best in my opinion because uh, I don't have her like it's a shame but uh, I really like her like the whole kimono setting you know uh, it's so damn pretty and <clears throat> in voice acting department Shutan Doji wins like <laughs> hands down like <laughs> the way the her voice actor does her voice acting is so amazing like like her voice has an unusual what can you say like allure like you know intoxicating type of uh like voice which ex like matches extremely with shuten doji's you know personality and the way she like is in the game so yeah and um yeah like uh, that was really impressive now <clears throat> another thing i noticed was the costumes so I'm guessing like just like we can uh, you know like change the costumes of our servants uh, if we already have the costumes for example uh, the <coughs> like uh, Parvati's costume there's like a costume for Parvati a costume for um, who was that um, Nero and uh, a lot of Gilgamesh's costume caster versions costume and all of these so I'm guessing like just like we can change it or decide to not change it um, like uh, in the game uh, uh, like in the arcade version that's also a possibility and we've seen a few costumes which we don't have in the na or the jp version i think for example like do we have the costume i'm not sure I'm, like in the na version is not there that i'm sure about but i'm not sure about the jp version so like do we have the costume of phantom of the opera like you know that uh, glasses costume in the jp version i don't think so i might be wrong you know uh, and also the other costume of Carmilla, the, the costume that she was wearing. Now that costume, I think that's the costume that uh, her other version wears, um, uh, who will, I think, will be introduced in Las Vegas. I think. Uh, I'm not sure which event she'll be introduced, but she'll be introduced soon. Uh, you know, the one with the... was... yeah, I think so. Or am I mistaking the costume for something else? I don't know, but uh, at least like uh, Carmilla's costume, like uh, the assassin Carmilla's costume is not like we don't have any costume like that in the mobile game. So <clears throat> yeah, like so I'm guessing like there are like new costumes. Also, uh, Jan's costume, Jan T Arts costume, uh, which we saw. I don't think we have that as well. So a lot of costume we I think we do not have. And obviously we have a Skahat's costume, the bunny costume, which we'll like get eventually. And uh, yeah, like uh, so yeah, that was I think that's like a thing. And uh, obviously, like there are a lot of servants which we don't have in the mobile version. Uh, for example, uh, female Merlin and Sita and uh, Suzuka Gozen. Uh, that Suzuka Gozen. Um, I'm not sure what class she is but you know the Christmassy type of Suzuka Gozen who was like taking selfies <laughs> that one 
and yeah and i'm i'm really like one thing i i've always found it quite you know <coughs> not uh, like weird not weird but a, a little bit surprising is that um sita sita is like uh an archer i think but as far as i know i might be wrong i'm not so well versed with like i'm an indian myself but i'm not so well versed with indian mythology myself <laughs> but as far as i know I don't think Sita has any kind of a relation with bows and arrows. I think Rama had a more uh, like relation with bows and arrows than Sita. But like Rama is like a saber here. You know, Arjuna and Karna, they both were like archers. Uh, like I think uh, like, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, they both were like archers. So uh, like, it's, it's like, you know, they are like archers in the game as well. But like making Rama a saber and Sita, uh, what can I say, an archer? I'm not sure. Like I'm talking with, like don't take my words into like you know like uh, much consideration because I'm talking with limited, uh, what can we say, knowledge myself. So I might be completely wrong about a lot of things. Like uh, as I said, like I am myself. I'm not so well versed with the Indian. You know a lot of indian uh, mythology and uh, you know like uh, the epics and everything like mahabharata and ramayana so like <laughs> i might be completely wrong so uh, yeah don't take you know my words into uh, like much of the, like, consideration because uh, yeah as i said i might be completely wrong but anyways um that and <laughs> and the way that they like you know <laughs> like <laughs> rama <laughs> is in the i think uh, uh it's in the like mobile version of the game there's no sita here and there's sita in the arcade version and there's no rama there i think you know like <laughs> the way this game it like, keeps them apart is <laughs> i don't know oh my god like this i think there's this whole thing uh with like everyone saying that when will like you know delight works and uh, you know make rama and sita available in the same platform you know but they do not do it it's been so long like there's like this whole meme i think about it <laughs> oh boy god but yeah and uh, yeah that was it that was it and i'm really like i uh, I think the, the the thing that really like attracts FGO like at least to me is the so like the vast amount of like you know like uh, different types of servants like you have uh, like servants from Rome from Babylonia from India from China from from across the whole world like like everything like there's everything you know and <clears throat> like i am really like i really like that you know because like even though we are like not delving much into the lore you can if you want to but like they give us the basic information about a lot of things which kind of you know like is interesting and that's the main thing that really like attracts me to fgo like the vast amount of uh, you know different type of diversity type of characters they have and I think like a few, uh, like especially like there's like this whole thing with a lot of people kind of getting pissed off at, you know, like inappropriating gods and goddesses, <laughs> you know, like there's this whole thing. Like I think there was also like a uh, whole thing in India as well, where like uh, a lot of people were pissed off at like, <coughs> like them like introducing Parvati in the game. Um, according to me, <laughs> I really don't care. I, I like I think like I'm what can I say like I'm glad that they do this you know that they are like bringing uh, characters from everywhere you know uh, so I'm really glad about that like uh, I don't know why people get pissed off about these kind of things if like you know like it's just a game you know it's just a game like like they are not trying to target our faith they're just trying to target uh, not target, but they're just trying to bring different characters into the game and they even like and the whole I think the lore of FGO is also another thing that uh, the characters that are here are not actually those characters. They are like uh, <clears throat> What can I say like they are being summoned? You know, they're being they're kind of like a different entity for example Ishtar, Ereshkigal, they're different entity from the Rin that we know in the fate universe 
Like they're completely a different entity. So that does not mean that Ishtar and Reen are the same. Ishtar only uh, is like uh, possessing Reen's vessel, vessel. And it's like a weird mix mixture of Ishtar and Reen. You know? And a, lot, and a lot of things are like also like prove this because like Ishtar's uh, love for gems, I think. Like Reen loves gems, you know? Uh, that thing. And... <clears throat> Like uh, for, uh, also Muramasa, uh, uh, Muramasa, Muramasa is not Shiro. No, they're completely different entities. Same with Parvati. Parvati has been called into Sakura's body. You know, like that's not Parvati. That's a completely different entity. So yeah, like it's it's in the lore as well. So uh, like it's like it's really weird when people like get pissed off about these kind of things. But anyways, like you do you, you know, uh, like. Uh, like, I'm, I'm just like happy with this so anyways guys uh thank you guys for watching so this was fate grand order um the my reaction to the noble phantasms of the arcade version i'll do more videos like this and uh, probably one video every week uh, i'll try to keep it on the same day uh, like uh, you know next week after seven days i'll try to make another video on fate grand order and there'll be the the playlist will be i think uh, over here in this place like suggested over here uh, if you cannot find my FGO videos, uh, click on the uh, suggestion and the playlist will be there. And I'll be like adding all the F my FGO videos into that playlist so that you can like navigate properly and like it will it's easy for you to find my FGO videos. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed this reaction, press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not or you uh, like you're new to the channel, uh, consider doing so because that will help me a lot and comment down below your opinions anything you want to share any suggestions be sure to comment down i'll check each and every one of them out definitely so <clears throat> yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another freight grant order video related related video so until then goodbye and have a nice day